Okay, Paul, Quantum HD38S, brand new product. Uh, what are we looking at here? This is the new Pulsar Quantum HD38S, retailing at £2,899. It's the latest incarnation in thermal images from Pulsar, with a £1,000 saving over the previous model. It looks very, very sharp and clear, and you can see the cap there flicking between the, uh, the, the black to white heat signatures. Um, it's got an optical zoom and digital zoom as well, hasn't it? Yep, um, 2.1 times optical zoom, 2 times digital zoom. That's good stuff. Uh, and you've got internal different modes as well. That's a good feature. Yep. This is all new for 2014. You'll see here we're selecting the mode. You'll see the little house, the, the forest, and the eye. The difference here is the house is for an urban environment, the forest for a forest environment, and the eye is an enhanced mode, which shows um, much more definition in terms of heat sources. And this is, a, this is, it is a new feature. I mean, the old HD model didn't do that. I can see the brightness. You're changing the brightness there. Uh, and you've also got a contrast button. Is it a wheel again, the same same easy feature? Yep, same thing. You have a push button wheel to select. Um, you push once to select brightness, push again to select contrast, or hold it into the, the menu system. This new menu you see here is, is going to be intrinsically across the whole range of Pulsar products. They're all going to incorporate this menu, so it's going to be a standardised menu system. Okay, and, and, and it's not going to get in people's way. This is, this is great because it's there, it's in the middle of the screen, you can clearly see what you're selecting on older models it was at the bottom of the screen you couldn't quite see it could you yep it's a head, head up display so uh, mm. it'll show you all the information you need on there you can calibrate the device you can um, choose your video output and you can set the time and also you can scroll through your functions this is great we're in the street we can see people and vehicles and this is in the white heat signature it's got a great detection range there yeah, it's got a 950 meters detection range compared to the old HD38, which is a 900 meters detection range. Yeah, and uh, I noticed obviously we switched to the black heat here. That that's phenomenal. What's the startup time on the model? Startup time is about five seconds. It's considerably quicker than a lot of other thermal images in the market. So yeah, good start. And what I like about this is the automatic calibration, which uh, we'll see here with the car gets to us in a moment. There you go. That's good because you don't have to push a button. Yep, um, the one thing that was quite frustrating with the old HD30 is you're constantly having to recalibrate it and with this it automatically updates. You can switch auto-update off to manually update as well. This is good, man-sized object. It clearly shows uh, the, the, the places where the heat are. Um, and again, it's calibrating in the field, obviously, uh, if you're going to use this for surveillance. This is ideal, isn't it? Absolutely ideal for surveillance, security, for, for hunting, for wildlife observation as well. A lot of people have said in the past about uh, black and white heat signatures are just, just, that's just right, you don't need anything else. Yes, it's nice to have colour, but with this model, I don't think you really need to use it as much, do you? The, heat's, the heat um, difference in the guide shows the, the different temperature of the fox, for example, you're looking at. It's not necessary. It's nice to have, but it's not necessary. For a, you know, pure for detection, for, for spotting wildlife in particular areas, for security, hd 30 es is the business. To my honest personal view is that this is the best one I've seen in a long time. It's improved over the, the, the other HD38, so yep, a cracking bit of kit. 